Okay, goal is to go to the go in there and get an artifact of Adenas. Probably hostile beam because we abandoned it. Yeah. Whatever. Hopefully there aren't any friendlies here, I'm going to go full in with the spells. Well, this should be good for this purpose, because they're, uh, yeah, they're steadily approaching. I guess they abandoned already. Didn't take into account the skeletons. That'll change things. Shit. But, uh, what the hell is that? Undead, some kind of high priest. Oh shit. Spells aren't that effective. We would need to get two castings to basically get rid of anything, realistically speaking. And there's some kind of delay on that. It requires us uh, to do a little bit of a different approach. The zombies are cheapful, you can ignore them. They're never gonna be a problem. Might need a decoy though. Problem with using the demon might be that doing damage to it it means it'll attack us too. Want a way to test it? The demon didn't give a shit about the fire, and it doesn't fire it now either. Okay, it's a it's a fairly good combination then. I was hoping that would be the case, but you never know. It's still somewhat... I'm not sure if it's more mana efficient to do it that way though. It's if you really need to kill them fast. K 
can't really do it with the skeletons. We need to get rid of them. At least the skeleton. I'll get the temple guarding you piece of shit. How about the guy right in front of you? I'll talk to you. That's intolerable. Not even find you up. But again, it's uh, more of a distraction. It's still better than what we had previously, so no real complaints there. But you kill it. It's a zombie. I think gold in this situation is probably better. Not that it really matters. The ability to regenerate mana matters. Wonder if it's cheaper to on a new demon or try to heal the existing one. By the way, we're slowly punching in. And we're going to get a level up fairly soon anyway. There's no way I can dodge that. The problem is I, I can't take out the high priest. Of the, uh, I can't target it while the zombies are there. <sighs> so much easier if you had a first person's perspective with a proper targeting reticle. No auto aim needed. You, the player skill can compensate. Now we're in an awkward position where we uh, have to struggle a bit. Okay, 
the zombies die. The demon is taking care of business. No, the demon isn't doing shit. It's sort of a problem. How the hell am I supposed to deal with that? Thank you, Mr. Demon. I don't know what he's trying to do, but I don't want to give him a chance to do it. Clearly taking damage from this. He is healing. Yeah, why aren't you bastard even doing something? Yes, as he was about to attack. Uh, someone's been actually one team away, so I can use uh, another spell. <coughs> ah, that's better. We don't handle the cold well. The fire made rope in that sense wouldn't be bad at all. <coughs> Holy crap. Don't give a death gas shit. Uh yeah, hard to get enough damage in him to get over his ability to heal. Yeah. That was that was bad. Go back now. I don't want any more demons running around here. Okay. It was genuinely a tough thing. Probably need to start just shoving something to life at some point. Life energy. It's 200. It's not terrible, but we, <laughs> yeah, we have no protection, so maybe that's probably a bigger contributor here. Still?
<laughs> I can't wait until we get a little bit of a better damage on this. Either to more agent knowledge or fire expertise. Where'd the demon go? Too big for this. later. Now it's time to just push through uh, as fast as we can. It's interesting to notice that so the undead high priest was totally unaffected by our banish uh, evil or Beliar's servants. Demon is too big to this. We're better on summoning it. I can't do anything to it. Probably because we're in the middle of fight. At least technically. Someone's trying to fireball us. So there's very likely another priest of some sort. <laughs> Ooh, there is. It's some kind of name thing. Apparently the demon was waiting for it to... So we can handle one hit from it. Uh, on the positive side, it seems to be much more vulnerable to our lightning attack than the undead pre high priest was. So what we can do is basically do quick spam on the lightning attack. We can alternatively try to throw the fire ring around the corner. It's a fire thing itself, so I'm not sure how will that work. Go 
back now. Sure, we got all of them. But it seems like this might be over. Cursed one. You ghoul. It's another another undead spellcaster. Please move, thank you. Yeah, I, I need to cast the lights though. Like seriously. I'm stuck. just so expensive uh, compared to its use usefulness that uh, I don't want to learn it. Still, there could be fighting involved, so... I like this light effect better than what it was in the previous game. Uh, there's still sort of a light flo uh, floating above you, but in the previous games uh, it tend to be a really bright light, white light that sort of uh, distracts you from everything else when you see it. This is actually quite nice. Um, oh, crap. Loading, 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 loading. Uh, we were at the end already. Uh, what are you trying to do? Stuck in the ah, <sighs> terrifying. So we killed something, but we didn't really gain anything. Yeah, it seems there's something about these sites we aren't really getting yet. Go back now. Basically, getting nothing out of these. We completed a quest, and we got reputation to a nearby city. But, why would I give a shit about that? There's a nearby cave though.
Okay. It was good enough. There is one good thing about the demon. Once it gets close to you, it's it's very unlikely to just let you go past without getting a hit on you. So it's a better at drawing aggression than the at least the skeleton. Yeah, constantly the demonic talking. Can't you be quiet for some time? You're somewhat annoying. Get your demon, you don't have to emphasize every second. More zombies. I think we're going to aim at mana regeneration no matter what at this point. We can maintain at a decent fighting level the mana uh, with our potion making capabilities, but it's still a uh, sort of a pain to maintain that. I I don't think I don't think we can abandon potions, but if if the pressure from them could be lessened a bit, that would be great. What is this? Okay, clearly we're not going to get any kind of uh, an item out of this. So what it appears to be is we need to do something about the, in the current uh, Ruins. Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, related to something like that. Yeah, the curse one. Before we die, we can at least take care of some business. 
dia. So, a lot of these seem to be related to the nearby city. Nothing to be had. Probably should report there. If not for nothing else, we should be able to report success in a couple of quests. Well, fighting against Undead is sort of shitty. You get you the, the experience points, are, I guess, are decent enough, but you don't get any from them really. Yeah, I was uh, thinking he's trying to go into melee with the demon. No. At least with living creatures, you get some kind of loot. With undead, you ain't getting shit. So it'd be great if these mass slaughterings would actually be related to something. Where's our staff of defense? At least this gives a little bit of our energy protection. Ooh. Hard fire goal. Okay, let's go, demon. Time to report our success to the local town. Surely you can fly. like fire. This is a great effect. Even if there uh, is sort of uh, crap at the moment, it's still a great effect. The demon had a little more initiative. Okay, so we're getting a decent amount of experience out of this, even though it didn't get us an artifact, which needs an explanation then. There's definitely an orc's ex excavation being going on there at some point, so which means someone, if the artifact isn't there, someone has it already. So, the nearest settlement. I'm not getting out of here without the artifact. 
Yeah, we gotta level up, and we're about 10,000 away from the next level up, which would... So we're 32 now. Next level up, if nothing else is gained. No, we can't get regeneration quite yet. We need something a little bit more. Okay, the summon creature reacts very well if someone starts aggressing us, but it doesn't if there's multiples and targets get uh, basically taken out. Still. Good work, Mr. Demon. Go back now. It's against at least the units of this kind useful enough. Because we can just leave it on its own and it's uh, pretty much guaranteed to stay alive. So it'll at the least draw attention from an enemy or two from us. That still means someone, one of you bastard has my artifact. Which means I'm going to have to murder you all. I'm going to relax a little. Do that. Relax a little bit too. I need right now. Loading, loading, loading. You must have things of your own. Yet another mangy beast. Mangy beast. What do you want, Mora? What are you doing here? I brought some gifts for the Hashishan. Pieces of raw ore. Ore from the fires of Nordmar. I was going to get an artifact from the temple in return, but it was stolen. Stolen by stupid, greedy Moras. Yeah, tell me about it. What are you going to do now? What do you think, Mora? We are going to watch the city. So, would it be the nomads that took it then? I've got the steel that you wanted. Thank you. This is a good omen. Things are picking up again. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. Cool. Show me your goods. Ah, nothing for Particularly interesting. And we haven't gotten any loot for a long time. Nothing worthwhile at least. Rusted swords and the like. But... Two... Might as well try to finish up some of these quests though. Because we already completed them, we just need to get the reward. The tunnels are free once again. Great. We owe you our gratitude, Father of Bravery. What about the temple? That's where the disaster started. That's where the source of evil is. But nobody in their right mind would dare go in there. Show me your goods.
must have unfinished quests here, so they basically are not moving forward until we do them. Blood goods. Eight crates. Men up the mountain. Deal with Bazir. Bazir deserves to die. He has the artifact without a doubt. Okay. Basically, up the mountains, I guess. Mummy. That's a new one. Wonder how well it burns. A uh, group of mummies. That's basically an improved zombie. Whoever this Bazir guy is, that's the goal. We happen to be able to do some other quests at the same time. All the better. But the clear indication was that the mountain and a ruin would be where we should go. Mm, so yeah. It. Please attack the guy attacking me. Who oh, should on the high priest? It's a very tough situation. Don't let it heal. Excellent. like this. Truly seems like there's a rain of fire, everything burning. 
That's a bit very nice. Now we only need to have a enough power to make this spell useful, and we've got it. Ooh, we're under 20 mana potions. Uh, I, at this point, I'd rather burn all my mana potion capabilities than uh, uh, go back and rest after constantly. Ooh. Probably not where we were supposed to come. So what other places are there? Both we could go there or south. To follow the mountainous area a little bit more. If not, if we're not gonna find a thief, maybe we can find nomads. Go back now. Looks like a uh, cave. Nothing cares. There's a uh, friend these inside. There's a robber. to do that. Composite bow. It's good bow. I don't wonder we were taking damage.
Sí. This might not have our missing artifact, but it uh, probably has the remaining stolen loot we've been missing. It's useful too. Just some goods. Surprises. You chests of goods. special. Um, I'm not going to turn turn back the goods just yet. This isn't why we're here. What we need is to locate either the thief of the artifact who took the artifact or nomads. Could easily be missing the missing the base. The view distance isn't that long. We could also check our alchemy ingredient situation at some point. Nothing else we can get more uh, mana out of it. But I think we have a lot of uh, upgrade items in other areas too. We didn't get what we want. Is there a... There is a potential oasis to the south. There is an oasis. I think that's where we visited. Over the... Yeah, I think that's where we visited. Um... Uh, hard to say where I should go. Sand crawlers. Hmm. 
I do like the implementation. Uh, they seem to have water barrels, uh, and they are clearly marked. Nice system in a desert. I wonder if it's an actual thing. We have some kind of a. We have the protection against heat, I think. Yep. So. I wonder if it's an actual thing. If you don't drink water. for a long, long time, you might have negative conse consequences on your character from that. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie. Huge amount of zombies. Ah, I think we're gonna skip them for this, this time. It's all to keep our eyes open for any anything even remotely interesting. Okay, oasis something. Ooh, there's something there, very far away. I think that's an oasis. Um, is it marked here? No. Let's try to reach there or. And keep an eye out for many caves here. Sand lurker. Yeah, lurkers aren't exactly a problem at this point. Hopefully this is at least a resting place. It looks like a fairly sizable settlement. Yeah, I don't particularly care what this place is for. Good enough for me to rest in. So, what kind of a settlement is this? Is it under Nomad or Hashishin Hushin control? A bit of a ruins there, could be undead or other creatures. Could be tablets that allow you to gain ancient knowledge. Books Nomad. Hey, get your hands off my... Oh, what do you want? What are you doing here? No questions, stranger. If you want to ask questions, ask Knut. I have to divide up the loot. This land may be dangerous, but it is also very rich. Still, I don't like it at all. That's all we need. 
Hey, I'm Canute. These are my men. Canute. What are you doing here? We serve no master and take whatever we want. You're bandits, then. I prefer the term freelance adventurers. We took this oasis with the help of the nomads. Someday this will and? Have you got any plans? We've been thinking about attacking Bakaresh, but that's a few sizes too big for us. I don't think I want to hear this. Fair enough. Okay, this is multiple oases. So, anyone else here? More than two guys with a name, hopefully. In fact, ruins might be a more interesting place anyway. Lions. guard but someone's put up those wooden blanks planks there so at some point there has been some activity at this temple so I think we'll have to leave this for another time in general, it seems like it would be a smart idea to stretch our teleportation web to include all the cities here because it looks like getting the artifacts isn't as simple as just clearing out a few temples. And again, this hot. Uh, it's the same hot that I arrived in. Yeah. I'll do one more thing. Yeah, definitely someone's been here. One more thing before ending. Alchemy ingredients. Uh, Ermin's in in increase in some things. Endurance plus 8 from a cactus flower. Is this a permanent increase or what? It is not a permanent increase. Oh, well, this is a permanent hunting skill increase. We'll get hunting to 135 with this. Max life energy plus 2. Not sure how good it is. You can probably get four points at least of a life with a single learning point. Similar to mana. Uh, I haven't checked it though. Could be a different system. Still, this is a nice boost to our life. More than 10%. We start from two hundred. Is it seventeen percent? That's a reasonable increase from basically nothing. Max mana, yeah. So we can probably make. Oh, we can actually probably make more potions than we have these mana increase stuff.
No, no, no. No. Light increase in max endurance. Ooh. Couple of points of strength too. I wonder if I should eat a strange mushroom. This mushroom is funny somehow. Yeah, um, I'd like to hear someone's opinion about the mushroom first. It's sort of odd that I can't even ask Alchemist about it. Yep, uh, minor increases to our stats, nothing more. Hmm. So, there's not much we can get to. I guess we'll hunt down settlements, nomads, visit temples, and just continue with that until we encounter something that either gives us an R. One of those. Artifacts we're looking for, or sort of um, explains the situation a bit more, a bit better. We know the basic gist of what we need to do, but Sardas wasn't exactly really giving out details on what we need to do. Then there's the three islands, and actually four, five islands we we should visit, but that's definitely an afterthought thing. Yeah.